from the company that knows you like Star Wars. So they put a little Star Wars on the Star Wars Hub so you can watch Star Wars before the next Star Wars comes out. Comes what any responsible content factory would do and outsources the job to Asia in these non-canon Japanese short films that would all make for a better movie trilogy than the one we just got. Somehow Palpatine returned. And yes, I'm including the furry episode. In fact, especially the furry episode. Here are all nine animated shorts from Star Wars Visions. From the studio that's probably gonna make Optimus Prime a Shogun next, comes a general Grievous level circle jerk of influences. In this Kurosawa influenced Star Wars, influenced by the Star Wars most influenced by Kurosawa. Again, it's like poetry, so if they rhyme, where a Ronin battles Lucy Liu for the fate of a small feudal village. But only after his droid gets hurt. He couldn't give a shit before that. How dare you? That droid was wearing a hat. Ronin Holiday. In a world where the most popular music on the planet is called jizz, prepare for the only genre that's even less appealing, mid-2000s pop punk. In this extremely straightforward story about a band that gets broken up by Chibi Boba Fett and immediately reunites, because any more story would take time away from Joseph Gordon Levitt singing. Come on and shout it out! See, this is what happens when an anime doesn't get eight minutes of opening credits, they just drop it into the episode. Blink 2187. Get ready for an episode that feels like it was inspired by The Last Jedi. Wait, you'll like it, I swear! Featuring more neon than a Batman Forever Street Gang that shows off what's possible when you go all anime, no breaks with the visuals, but still honors the prequel trilogy by having horrible stilted dialogue. Kyber Crystal, such beauty, such power. This energy will be a beacon of hope for the galaxy! Bravo, Alison Brie. You act. You act as hard as you can. And evil twins. When a village is threatened by raiders. Wait, didn't we see this one already? Oh, different village. Okay. When another village is threatened by raiders, it will take one masterless Jedi teaming up with an anti-masker. It doesn't suit you, that mask. To help two orphans link their Majinas. Majina? Majina. 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 <laughs> Gina by slicing up Imperial scum with a katana saber and some sweet tactical high heel shoes. Wait, didn't we see a Lady Force user in heels already? Is that so they always have the high ground? Wedding Crashers. Witness a short that packs so much world building, imagination, and likable characters into 20 minutes, you won't even care that they ran out of creativity for the names. Greetings, my name is Ethan. As a young apprentice gets trapped in a temple full of Sith who wants to steal her custom lightsabers, even though all you have to do to get one is download the Saber Pass app the week before you go to the planet, then sign up using the Saber Magic system to book your Saber's Vation so that when you do arrive at the temple, all you need to do is check in, get your Saber Band, log the QR code on Saber Pass, then report to the lightsaber store, add 300 credits to your My Saber account, and get in the two hour reserve queue. Simple. My Saber Totoro. From the team that made Space Dandy. Uh, alright. Comes Baby's First Star War. About a droid who was built to sit in a small room and do math, but also given feelings of love, boredom, and frustration because Star Wars loves to remind us that droids are slaves. <laughs> Your name is Toby Pinocchio. From the people who also made the psycho one about the evil twins comes the Star Warsification of a Clint Eastwood movie as a salty old Jedi warrior sends his assistant up a dang mountain to face a Sith while he hangs out at base camp to make sure he didn't double back. Uh-huh. That ends with the Jedi pretending to be dead, then ganging up in an old man while they're distracted. This is also supposed to be heroic. Elder Abuse. Blast off to the Zootopia system for 20 minutes that will delight everyone from anime fans to Star Wars fans to furries. And yes, I'm aware that being a fan of one significantly raises your chances of being the other two. In this heartwarming saga of a father having to decide which of his daughters will inherit the family lightsaber, the tiny two with a heart of gold, or the evil human who uses her own blood as eyeliner. Do you want pink eye? Because that's the other way to get pink eye. Bunny Heist from still Japan, but with a few pieces of African flair, comes a really annoying road trip across the planet of the Tiny Mouths in a classic tale of how when a Jedi falls in love, everything turns to sh**. Yep, even in anime, they're creepy sexless monks who are only allowed to play with their own lightsabers. 
literally Star Wars visions. Starring. When you all copied off the same kit for your test. I got a bad feeling about this. You have a bad feeling about this. I have a bad feeling about this. You've got a bad feeling about this? I've got a bad feeling about this. And more crystal talk than a white girl's apartment. If you use the power of the kyber crystal. The crystal is the core of the lightsaber. Crystal! Crystal. 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 Starweed. Content. Okay, how is there not a short word? Luke Skywalker is the principal at a high school for French maids. I figure at least one anime studio would have had that idea. It's a me, Chris Praptio. I will not fear. Fear is the mind killer. Well, it's one for the money, two for the show, three to get ready. Now go, cat, go. Do the elderly wear boxers or briefs? Depends. <laughs>